Check pass. What is the password? We have this file. File formats picoctf dot dot dot. How's the password being checked? So I've loaded this thing into Ida. You could also use Ghidra. They uh, gave us main, and so therefore that means that this here is going to be the address of the real main program. And then it's going to call into like um, the libc start main or something. So if we look at the main program, we can actually go through and generate pseudocode for that. And we get all this. So I've labeled this method here crazy crypto thing because it like does some substitutions and there's reordering and it gets called four times. And I mean, I could reverse engineer that, but I'm feeling a bit lazy, so I won't. So I go back to the main program. After that thing gets called four times, it's doing this comparison byte by byte, and it's not doing it in order. And what I'm going to hope happens here is that one character of input affects one character of output. It looks like it's going to try to find the 25th character and then the 0th character. And this thing here is this array that's going to be looking at. We can look at that as well. It also looks like I changed these. These were numbers, but I changed them to strings. It's going to make sure it has Pico CTF at the beginning. It's a little Indian. And the closing curly brace at the end. So if we run check pass ask for a password and it tells me an invalid length. So I can, I can guess the length and keep going that way. And eventually, You'll see that if I get 41 characters, as so if I had 41 A's, I just made a little Python script to print out 41 A's, it'll tell me invalid password. So I need the password to be 41 characters long. <clears throat> I also need it to begin with that Pico CTF squiggle and then a close school at the end. That's nine characters. So I'm really going to have like 32 things with Pico CTF like this. All right. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. all right. So I have to have that Pico CTF, then the 32 A's, and the closing curly brace. Okay. So if I run this thing in GDB. I'm going to say uh, start this, and then I'm going to break libc start main. So it's going to tell me main is at 555555A6F0. I look over here at main, it's 66F0, so it's adding 4,000 with a lot of fives up front. So when I go into the main program, if I get past the crazy crypto thing to my first real comparison, <clears throat> my first real comparison there is at 5D15. So I can say like break star 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, D, 15. I'll say run, go CTF. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, uh, let's see, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Okay. So I hit this here, and you'll see that it's going to actually do that jump. So we have RBP is what it's comparing. And the 25th character from that is this E6. And it's comparing it to BL. So 
BL is the low order byte of RBX. And that comes from here, which is RSP plus 66 hex. When we see the second one of these, that BL comes from RSP. And so it looks like here we have a bunch of these F3s. Now if I change this first one to a B, I'll delete that first breakpoint. Not in the right place. Let's check here. Where should I be? I should be <clears throat> forty three, be forty three. Is the zeroth byte of it, and that's at RSP plus 48 hex. So, okay, there we go. All right, so you'll see that when I did the run with that B, that B was in the first spot, really the you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th spot, but it affected a single character here. And then we can do that again. And let's see what I did there. Okay, you'll see that change that C7. Then if we change this to say like an R, and we hit a character there. So it looks like the, the characters aren't in order. Changing one character does change one character of the output. So that's good news for us. And that gets us to this solution here. So I'm going to use Valgrind to count the number of instructions that the program is running. So if I were to say valgrind, um, let's get that command line there. So I'm say valgrind tool is cache grind, check pass, and if I give it pico ctf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 Do H's, you'll see that it goes nine more instructions from 520, 524 to 525.33. And um, you know, I basically tried that a bunch of times until I figured out that was an H. Okay, so now going back to the program. So I have this, it's gonna call Valgrind, it's gonna get that line that says I refs, get the end of the line, make it an integer. And that's going to be the count of instructions. My password guess is going to start as all tildes. I'm assuming the flag is digits and letters and underscores. I say, well, while there are any tildes, I'm going to count the number of instructions so far. 
I'm going to loop through all the flag characters, replacing all the twiddles with the potential new character. If I find something that does better, like it gets further, that's the character I want. But I don't know which spot was the right spot. So I'm just sort of putting it in all the spots to figure out which character. Then I'm going to go through and find where it's supposed to be. So this will enumerate all of the index indices where there's a tilde. And for all of those, I'm going to replace the tilde with the character I figured out, count the instructions, see if I find something better. And if I do, then I throw that in. That actually takes quite a while to run, but it was running uh, while I was filming. So guess so far is, so it's all tildes. It figures out it needs an H, figures out the H is in spot 11. It puts that in and says I need an underscore 17. Then it gets all the way down here. I forgot to actually print out the very final thing. So it's this with Pico CTF, and I need to replace that in there. So again, basically I'm doing a timing attack because the code checks one character at a time and one character change affects only one character of the output. I can get this character right, then get this character right, then this, this character right. That's more instructions if I get a character right. I'm doing a two-step process, and my two-step process is first figuring out which is the character I need by trying each character, just put it in every possible place, then I figure out which is the right place, then I go back, so I then put that one character in the one place, I update my password guess, I come back while I still have tildes, I just keep doing this until I'm done.